Hello, welcome to Stackable, the all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with the WordPress block editor. Stackable version 3 came with big changes in your workflow and a lot of new features. This video will show you everything that's new in version 3 and will touch on the differences in how you style blocks in v2 and in v3. So what's the biggest change in Stackable v3? v3 block categories. The biggest change would be the fact that version 3 replaces the old version 2 blocks and are now categorized into three types. Essential blocks, special blocks, section blocks. The essential blocks are all the basic blocks that you need to build your website. So these would be the columns, heading, text, image, icon list, and icon blocks. You can already create virtually any layout and any design by using only the essential blocks. The special blocks are blocks that have special functionalities. These blocks include the accordion block, count up block, card block, posts block, video pop-up block, design library, and more. Basically, these blocks allow you to create distinctive designs that you cannot achieve with our essential blocks alone. Finally, the section blocks are combinations of essential and special blocks that you can use to quickly build pages. This includes the feature block, block quote block, hero block, pricing block, and more. These new blocks are meant to replace the old version 2 blocks. They work differently from before, but in a good way. How are V3 blocks different from V2 blocks? In version 2, each block was designed as single large blocks. For example, the feature block already has a built-in heading, description, and button. It had its benefits but a major flaw of this setup is how limiting it is. In version 3, things work a little differently. Now, everything is a block, meaning that the blocks are now composed of multiple smaller blocks. So for the feature block, it will contain columns, a heading, text, image, and button block. With this new block structure, you are given more flexibility and more control in the way you build and design your blocks. You can now nest any block inside other blocks and rearrange them to your liking. These were impossible in version 2. More things that weren't possible in v2 but are now possible in v3 are You now have the ability to add more than 6 columns You can now adjust each column and their contents individually. You can now customize or rearrange the designs of your blocks. Building with V3 blocks. This may be where things can get confusing, but trust that the new way of building in V3 is one big step forward. We've discussed earlier 
in the video that now in version 3, almost everything is now composed of a block. Adding blocks is the same as before, but now you can nest blocks as well. The workflow in editing a block has slightly changed from V2. In this part of the video, you will enumerate the differences in how you style blocks in version 2 and version 3. Styling the title of a block. In V2, if you want to style the title of a block, you will see the title panel in the inspector, which you will need to open in order to edit the title's options. Now in V3, since the title is already its own separate block, you will need to click on the title block, which in this case is the heading block. Clicking on it will open the inspector where you can make your adjustments. You will notice that once you click on the block, you will see on the top of the inspector that the block is now a heading block. Removing or adding the title of a block. In V2, to remove this title, you will need to select the block, then look for the corresponding option to toggle on or off the title setting in the inspector. In V3, you will need to click on the block, then delete it by clicking on the three dot button, and then remove block. To add a block, just click on the black plus sign button and add the block you want. Note that the same steps apply for other nested blocks. Adding something that's not included in the block. For example, you want to use a bullet list instead of text inside the feature block. In V2, this is not possible because V2 blocks are self-contained, meaning that the things you see in the block are fixed and cannot be changed. In V3, this is possible and you can do it by just simply adding a new block. Rearrange the content. In V2, this is also not possible because of the same reason of it being self-contained. In V3, this is possible by just moving the blocks up or down. You can do this in the blocks toolbar where you will see the arrows. Adding more columns of a block. In V2, you side the columns option under the style tab in the inspector for blocks that support it. In V3, you add the block in a columns block and side the columns option in the inspector. You can also type in a number in the field or duplicate the column block. Styling multiple columns simultaneously. In V2, if you design one column, all options get applied across all the other columns of the block. In V3, you can duplicate the block. Use the copy and paste styles button in the toolbar or enable block linking on the top right corner of the column block when styling. Block linking is a beta feature that you need to enable. Rearranging columns. In V2, you should click and drag the column changer option under the style tab in the inspector. In V3, you just move the column block 
left or right using the arrows in the toolbar. Picking layouts. In V2, go to the layout tab and choose a layout. In V3, when you add a block, a layout picker will pop up where you can choose your layout before adding the block. You're adding a way so that you can re-pick a layout easily soon. New Inspector There are three tabs where you can edit stackable blocks in the Inspector. Block, Style, and Advanced. The Block tab is where you can edit the alignment, background settings, size and spacing, borders and shadows, and in some blocks, such as the columns or container, hero, feature grid, feature, call to action blocks, you can add a top separator and or a bottom separator. The style tab is where you can find the various design options available for the block you're using. This is where you will find typography settings for heading, text, or blocks that use text, image settings for image, image box for any block that uses images, and more. Finally, the Advanced tab is where you will find more advanced design options such as Motion effects and transform and transition so you can add website animations Conditional display, custom attributes, and custom CSS so you can give your visitors a personalized experience on your website Responsiveness for mobile and tablet display optimization, and more Additionally. Here are some highlights to the new inspector. In range slider controls, you can now type in values which are past the slider minimum and maximum values. For example, the range of the border radius slider is from 0px to 50px, but in the text field, you can type up to 100px so you can have more control over its value. Most inspector options now have a reset button so that you can reset the design options to default. Some inspector options have hover toggle buttons. Toggling the hover button will allow you to style what blocks look like when they're hovered on. You will have another video later on that, which gives a deeper dive into the hover states and what you can achieve with it. This is a big step for stackable but it is a big step forward. This is the new way of building with V3, giving you a more fine-tuned experience as you build with Gutenberg. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions you may have. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more.